How's it going everybody? This is Peter Bush. This is the Wubin X1 Falcon flashlight. It's one of the most beautiful flashlights I've ever seen. Look at this white finish and pattern on it. Kind of reminds me of stormtroopers. A lot of sellers are inflating their lumen output numbers. And yes, I have a lumen meter and I've measured its output and it's correct. Absolutely something you want to pull out of your pocket if you want to impress your friends. Look at this, double click. <laughs> <laughs> it's like sunlight coming out of your pocket. And if you put your hands close enough, you can actually feel the heat coming from this thing. It comes with a belt holster so you can pull it out anytime you want and be extremely bright about everything. It uses three Cree XHP 70.2. Cree is an industry standard for high power LEDs. The whole interface is just one single button. You click it once to turn on. This is 20 lumens, press and hold for two seconds. 400 lumens, press and hold. 1000 lumens, press and hold. 2600 lumens. And if we click once, it will turn off. If we click again, there's memory and it'll go back to your previous brightness. Double click and it'll be turbo. This is extremely bright, 12,000 lumens. It's almost giving my hand a sunburn. Press four times to lock it. And now you can't accidentally turn it on just by pressing it once. Press it four times again to unlock it. Then it will resume operation with a one touch button. In its off state, press and hold to immediately go to eco mode. This is the 20 lumen option. Press three times for strobing. Press three more times for SOS. Look at these really awesome markings over here. Looks like a spaceship. Pull out this little plug. It's USB-C charging. If it gets too hot, there's an intake and an outtake. The active cooling actually helps it runs a little longer. Flip it over to the bottom. Look at the beautiful lines it has everywhere, all around. Take a look at these extremely powerful Cree XHP 70.2 LEDs. I'm gonna open this up just to show you guys what's inside. Don't do this at home yourself. Press down on here because there's a lot of pressure holding these screws down. Here we are. We got the end cap and the two battery cells inside. Internally, we see the PCB and also there's grommets to keep the water out. They use their own branded batteries, Wubin 4800 milliamp hour 21700 batteries. This is 21 millimeters in diameter and 70 millimeters long. 3.7 volts, both of them are the same. Make sure you got the polarity right when you put the batteries back in and we can put the cap back on. On one side, there's a tiny little fan for intake. If you flip it over, you can see some heat sink. This is the outtake here. We can also attach the hand strap with this little ring to this hole here. Here we are. Strap it to our hands and we won't drop it. Let me open up this door. This heat sink runs across the entire back of those LEDs all the way to the other side. Let's open this side up. The wiring is really tight so I can't really pull out the fan. Let's open up the top. Got a button. Get the grommet off. Gold plated PC boards. And remember those spring contacts in here were also gold plated. Remove the rest of the screws here too. We have this piece of glass here, the reflector piece. Whoa, cool. This is actually made of aluminum. This gets really hot, right? So it can't be plastic. That's really cool. These ridges here, it can also help dissipate heat. Along with everywhere else, really, putting on this ring actually scratched it up a little bit. It appears it's painted on. So if you scratch it up enough with rough usage, you'll start to see a little bit of the aluminum underneath. It's type C power delivery compatible up to 27 watts, charges from zero to 100% within two hours. The whole flash flashlight with the batteries weighs in at 13.6 ounces with the case is about 15.6 ounces walking along suddenly you need a flashlight Bam. 12,000 lumens it's insane and at around eight inches away it actually has an intensity of a hundred thousand lumens so if I hold my hand up like this visibly heat up my hand it actually does heat myself up I feel physically warmer on these spots right here. It kind of feels like sunshine on a warm sunny day. Of course you can't run 12,000 lumens indefinitely. It generates a lot of heat. This one can run 12,000 lumens up to a minute. The fan noise is noticeable, but it's not loud at all. I'm getting about 46 dB when I'm not talking. So let's turn it on again. 
it's heating up the table. We'll see how long it can run on 12,000 lumens. I think it just reduced in brightness just now. Okay, it's really bright again. Get about a minute of usage at extreme brightness. And then the battery compartment gets to about 100 degrees Fahrenheit. I have all this configured so that we can measure lumens. But I have to put all the light within this one meter square circle and the light needs to be pretty uniform across it. But we can get an idea of how much light output this gives. Ambient light is 200 lumens. So if I shine that on there, so that's a delta of 40 lumens. Next level is about 400 lumens. Level after that's about 1000 lumens. The high setting is supposed to be 2600 lumens. It's roughly correct. And then on turbo, it's overloaded. So I got to change this. It's supposed to be about 12,000 lumens. And that's what it's showing there. But if I get really, really close, like eight inches away, you can get up to 120,000, which feels like sunlight if you put your hand right in front of it. This product is absolutely wonderful to use and I highly recommend it.